Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. So today, um, in other, uh, the diocese in other parts of uh, like the states or, or in the world, they're celebrating Ascension uh, Thursday today. Okay, so But for us uh, here in Canada, we're going to celebrate Ascension Sunday, uh, this, this, this coming Sunday. So uh, I will be speaking uh, a little about Ascension to today uh, at this Mass. So brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have gravely sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made your people partakers in your redemption, grant we pray that we may perpetually render thanks for the resurrection of the Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul left Athens and went to Corinth. There he found a Jew named Aquila, a native of Pontus, who had recently come from Italy with his wife Priscilla because Claudius had ordered all Jews to leave Rome. Paul went to see them, and because he was of the same trade, he stayed with them, and they worked together. By trade, they were tent makers, Every Sabbath he would argue in the synagogue and would try to convince Jews and Greeks. When Silas and Timothy arrived from Macedonia, Paul was occupied with proclaiming the word, testifying to the Jews that the Messiah was Jesus. When they opposed and reviled him, in protest he shook the dust from his clothes and said to them, Your blood be on your own heads. I am innocent. From now on, I will go to the Gentiles. Then Paul left the the synagogue and went to the house of a man named Titus Justus, a worshiper of God. His house was next door to the synagogue. Crispus, the official of the synagogue, became a believer in the Lord, together with all his household, and many of the Corinthians who heard Paul became believers and were baptized. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm 
have won him victory. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made known his victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord says, I will not leave you orphans. I will come back to you and your hearts will rejoice. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. When Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and to go to the Father, he said to the disciples, A little while, and you will no longer see me. And again, a little while, and you will see me. Then some of his disciples said to one another, What does he mean by saying to us, A little while, and you will no longer see me. And again, a little while, and you will see me. And because I am going to the Father. They said, what does he mean by this little while? We do not know what he's talking about. Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him. So he said to them, are you discussing among yourselves what I meant when I said, a little while and you will no longer see me? And again, a little while and you will see me? Very truly, I tell you, you will weep and mourn, but the world will rejoice. You will have pain, but your pain will turn into joy. The Gospel of the Lord. In 2013, there was this movie that came out. Uh, It's entitled, uh, Now You See Me. Have you, have you seen that movie, Now, now You See Me? It's, it's a good movie. I, I really like it, you know. Uh, uh, it's a story uh, of an uh, FBI agent. They're trying to catch this uh, team of uh, illusionists. You know, they're, they're playing magic in front of uh, an audience. And what will happen there is that uh, they would disappear, and then they would pull off a bank heist. And then they will appear again, and then they would, they, they would uh, shower the audience with lots of money. Now, now, I'm not promoting that stealing is good, okay? I'm just saying that this movie, is, there's a lot of action here, entertainment. Uh, it's great, and there's a lot of humor also. So I highly encourage you to watch this movie, Now You See Me. I think there's a sequel to that, Now You See Me Too. Now, the reason why I told you about this is that when I'm, when I'm reading the gospel today, uh, it reminds me of this movie. When, when Jesus was saying to the disciples, a little while, you will no longer see me, and again, a little while, you will see me. And uh, I could just imagine the, 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 the disciples like scratching their head. You know, what does he mean by this, right? Uh, is, is, is he playing a trick on us? Like, you know, now we will not see him, and then after a while, we will see him again, 
right? And uh, so I could just imagine, yeah, the, 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 the question in, in the mind of the disciples. But Jesus was really talking about uh, that he will go away, and, and he, he's pertaining about his ascension to heaven. But he's also talking about that you will see me again, and he's pertaining to Pentecost, okay, when we receive the Holy Spirit. And in John chapter 16, verse 7, seven he says, Believe me, it is for your own good that I'm going. If I do not go, the paraclete will not come. When we receive the Holy Spirit, what Jesus is saying is that when you receive the Holy Spirit in your life, you will see me. Not, not by your physical eyes, but in your heart. You will see me, you will hear me, you, you will feel me in your heart because of the Holy Spirit. Okay? And, and th- that's why it's very important the, the, that we receive the Holy Spirit. Okay? And, and, and uh, the Holy Spirit... In, in, it says, when we receive the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will reveal the truth to us. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10, talks about, it says here, God has revealed to us through the Spirit, for the Spirit searches everything, even the depths of God. When you have the Holy Spirit, you will know God. You will know Jesus. You will know His love. You will know the truth the truth that will set you free. Okay? So, the, the, the importance of having the Holy Spirit so that we will have the wisdom that we need. Okay? Now, the, the Holy Spirit also is the love of God. You know, we know that the, the, the Holy Spirit is the third person of the, 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 the Trinity and, and the Holy Spirit is the love between God the Father and God the Son, Jesus. Right? And, and when we receive the Holy Spirit, we receive this love. In Romans chapter 5, verse 5, it says there, God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. So when we, experience, when we have the Holy Spirit, we experience the love of Jesus in our life. As if He's really there. You know, present you know, in, in our life. Okay? The other thing that the Holy Spirit could do is that the Holy Spirit will give us power. In Luke chapter 24, verse 29, uh, Jesus was telling this to the disciples uh, to, to get ready to receive this, this Holy Spirit. It says here, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. The Holy Spirit will clothe you with power from on high, because it, we we can't we are, we're powerless over sin. Okay, we're powerless. We we don't have the power really to obey God and to love. It is through the Holy Spirit that will give us that power, in order to be able to to uh, to love God, you know, to love others, to grow in holiness, and also to do the mission that God called us to do which is to, to spread the good news to all people of all nations. Okay? So the, the Holy Spirit is very important. Okay? And uh, that's why in, in uh, the following Sunday, it's going to be Pentecost Sunday. And tomorrow, Friday, is the start of the novena to the Holy Spirit. Do the novena to the Holy Spirit. Okay? And, and, and after doing the novena of the Holy Spirit, pray to the Holy Spirit every day. We need the wisdom from the Holy Spirit in order to be able to get to know God and to know the truth. We need the Holy Spirit to experience the love of God in our life. We need the Holy Spirit so that we will receive the power to do God's will in our life. So the Holy Spirit is important. Okay? Now, now, you know why with Jesus is saying, a little while you will no longer see me but a little while, you will see me. When you have the Holy Spirit, you will see Jesus. God offers us His strength in times of need. Let us pray that we may always rely on Him. 
that the church may give courageous witness and boldly proclaim Christ's message to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who live in loneliness and despair may experience the comforting presence of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who feel low or depressed may realize the true worth of their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That in their weakness, the sick and the handicapped may discover the power of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have gone before us in faith may meet the Redeemer who suffered for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. So for the special intentions of this Mass, for the repose of the soul of Daniel Kennedy offered by Stu and Franz Bear, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, full of goodness and love, look with mercy upon your people for their shortcomings. Sustain them in their trials and let your love come upon them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Make my heart your dwelling place, a temple just for you, a consecrated resting place, a vessel ever true. Make my heart a fire with the brightness of your sun. Make my heart a dwelling place for the Holy One. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Blessed is he 
who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Terence and Marcel, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we are married to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not to temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Day, 
Qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, those who subscribed subscribe, uh, to St. Mary's uh, Ottawa YouTube channel. We already received... Uh, 1,000 um, subscribers, um, and uh, so starting Monday, uh, I just want to remind everyone who's uh, watching uh, this Mass uh, to go to St. Mary's uh, YouTube channel for all the Masses uh, from uh, starting Monday, all the Masses will be there. It's not going to be at Father Mark Goring's YouTube channel. It's not going to be on my uh, YouTube channel too, okay? So just... just uh, uh, a reminder. And again, I, I, I just like to encourage everyone to do the novena to the Holy Spirit starting tomorrow. And um, because I truly believe that, you know, this year uh, it's going to be a, a special Pentecost. You know, it's a Pentecost of Pentecost because May 31st is the visitation of Mary. Okay. But also at the same time, Pentecost. 
so I think it's going to be powerful, you know, especially with this with, with this pandemic that we're experiencing right now. Um, we will experience the power from 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 the Holy Spirit. Okay, so the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowled about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.